The North Korean foreign minister's recent warning of a possible atmospheric nuclear test over the Pacific Ocean should be heeded, a senior Pyongyang official has told CNN. The foreign minister is very well aware of the intentions of our supreme leader, so I think you should take his words. Literally, Ri Yong Pil, a senior diplomat in North Korea's foreign ministry, said in an interview aired on Wednesday. North Korea's foreign minister, Ri Yong Ho, said last month Pyongyang might consider conducting the most powerful detonation of a hydrogen bomb over the Pacific Ocean amid rising tensions with the United States. The minister made the comment after President Donald Trump warned that the U.S. would totally destroy North Korea if it threatened the U.S. Ri Yong Ho, the North Korean diplomat who ridicules Donald Trump read more CIA chief Mike Pompeo said last week. North Korea could be only months away from gaining the ability to hit the U.S. with nuclear weapons. Experts say an atmospheric test would be a way of demonstrating that capability. All of North Korea's previous nuclear tests have been conducted underground. Trump will visit Asia next week and he is expected to highlight his campaign to pressure Pyongyang to give up its nuclear and missile programs. He declined to say on Wednesday whether he would visit the Korean Peninsula's demilitarized zone. I'd rather not say, but you'll be surprised, Trump said. His strategy has so far failed to stop nuclear bomb tests at an underground facility and test firing of ballistic missiles over Japan and into the Pacific. In spite of the bellicose rhetoric and repeated U.S. warnings that all options, including military ones, are on the table, White House officials say Trump is looking for a peaceful resolution to the standoff. North Korea, CIA director says regime, nearly capable of nuclear attack. Read more separately, the U.S. Navy said in a statement the aircraft Carrier strike group Nimitz had entered the 7th Fleet Area of Operation, which includes the Western Pacific and Indian Ocean. It joins two other carriers, the Ronald Reagan and Theodore Roosevelt, in the region. Additional aircraft carriers are usually viewed suspiciously by China and North Korea.